Hi, everybody. I'm going to um, respond to a request that we had for how to make a, a discussion in the Community Hub for Powerful Learning Practice. And this is a really good question. You'll be really happy to know that it's very easy to do, so it won't take you long to learn. So I'm going to show you, right now I'm in the Canada and New England area, I'm going to show you how to make a discussion in three different spaces. So if you come along, I went up here to pick one. And I chose Canada and New England, and this is so that it will it will um, the discussion will get posted for 119 members, all of our teams in the Canada and New England and Pennsylvania area. So what I would do is scroll down through this main space uh, until I see the tag discussion forum. These are all the discussions. I think there's about 48 of them uh, that have been posted so far. And right down at the bottom of that discussion is a plus sign that says "Add a discussion." So I would just click that button. And then I would fill in my discussion title, write my post right here. There's my editing box. And I could add any tags when I'm finished that I'd like so that I could search and find this easily. I can up upload any files down here from my computer. And then I can preview this discussion, see how it looks and proofread it. Or I can just click add discussion. And that will put it in that main discussion forum area. The other place that you want to start discussions is in your group spaces. So I'm going to click on groups and I'm just going to go to uh, the intentional rogues. So I'm going to search for their group. Just put my word intentional in there, see what comes up. There they are, the intentional rogues. So I'm going to click on that. The group space opens up and then it's the same thing right under the tag discussion forum. I can scroll down and see who's been talking and then at the bottom there's a plus sign where I can click add a discussion. Up pops that editing box once again with an option to tag things, to upload files and then click add discussion. It's like a save button. Okay, The third place to add discussions is if you want everyone who's involved with power, powerful learning practice to see it. So when you look at the pick one button you can see that there are several different um, communities that split off from the main hub. But if you want all those folks to see your, your discussion, and this is really a wonderful way to get some diversity of thought and experiences when you're raising a question or asking for some help, then you would go to home. And we'll see the main hub page. It's the same exact instructions for discussions here. We're going to scroll down. It's a little further down because there's lots of information on this page, but here it is. It's called forum this time instead of discussion forum, but there are all the, all the discussions folks have posted. And there is that plus sign down at the bottom, add a discussion. So up comes my editing box once again, place for a title, place for my description. I could add videos and links and photos to this space as well. I can upload files, I can decide on my tags, and I can click add a discussion. That's it. It's really simple. Once you get the hang of it, it's going to be very similar in all three places. So enjoy that, and I hope you start to post some discussions.